you to come up with something like this in just two days. That's what impresses me. But the rest don't. What are the assumptions that you made before you arrived at these projected figures? We, we, we actually assume that as the company grows, um, from the first year we'll be making profit of 15%, an indication that it would increase from the second, hence the third year. So we assume that as the company grows, labor within the company also grows. Good. At a point in time, I was getting so much interested in the tea bar. But do you necessarily have to be in fish farming before you can do that bar? We can do that. Um, I mentioned in my presentation that um, people are into fish farming, but then we wanted to add one part outstanding thing to what we are going to do to make it stand out. The eviction that followed leveled up our candidate's groupings as all groups dropped to three members each. The casualties from the Warriors was the ever-eloquent sports journalist Eunice, while Senum took the walk from the champs. Eviction. I, I've never really had one feeling about it. Like whenever I was up, I knew that I could go home or not. And the main thing for me was the reason for which I'd go home. That was always what I was worried about. And I think that's why I'm still fine, because the reason I got evicted it's rather a challenge to me. It's, it's just going to make me work harder. And it's just going to make me want to prove to the rest of the world that talkers will make money in the future. I'd say uh, I, I don't have any hard feelings because I, th I thought it was a very fair judgment. Looking at how the line of questions went and how it happened, I think that everything was orchestrated. It was just God's will. With nine candidates left, the challenge was more than competitive as our candidates, prepped by the team at IPMC, took us into the future. The task was simple. What would your mobile phone look like and do in the year 2020? <laughs> Me per se, me mama na me friend no. Inti, eh, I do ni mo adi ne be ye. Like that year no, like oh, who do me in charge of club? Because who can say who do na? Ebi ya, eh, atimota. Me pare mo se stay. Ebi ya, ebi ya na who do na? Ah no. Yeah, me ami tu misa na mi hu. Who can get away na ba? Who can say me hear this speech? I'll say ba. Who can say me hear this? I'll say it. I'll say ba. And they even say, come, come, come na who be ye? Who friend you ever? So she say. Okay, so when you are amateur, I'll we get TV for inside, we get DSTV, everything for I left restaurant and said, we will get for phone for inside. So 2020, the sure say for get restaurant for phone inside, the everything finished. Our candidates were more than ready to impress. First up, the heroes. Our first product which we'd like to introduce to you is the Kamakaris, which is for the executives. Next, the champs. We'll bring your office, your iPad and your laptop into your pocket all on this small gadget called the Sky Novel. And finally, the Warriors. I present to you Nanotech. Just think it. Now, we have three different models. We have the Neuron C1, the Neuron M1, and the Neuron MA. The C1 is meant for the top-level executives, the M1 for middle-level executives, and the MA for the mass people. The eviction that followed was a thriller. By the time it was over, the champs had dropped to a single member as Ben and Evelyn joined the League of Victor Challengers on the show. With the final event just round the corner, Mike of the board thought our candidate needed to wind down. So, he sent them off to the luxurious beach village in New Eberim for a relaxation episode with a twist. The treasure hunt. Beige was more than fun. And after an exciting trip like that, one would wish there would be no eviction. But no, I'll bet chairman of the board wouldn't have a word of it. After half an hour of grill, he leaves them be but calls for one last task. The justifier to determine which six make it here on the stage tonight. I am an artist. I always look at life from the artist's point of view. And this helps me to come 